A hi, welcome to the laboratory of digital storytelling. This week we are carrying on with our projects and I'm going to introduce as well some very, very useful tools. The exercise will ask you to create one of these diagrams. Uh, some people call it blueprints. Some people call them uh, storyboards. Doesn't matter. The important thing it is that is the main element of living level design. Pay attention that, as commented in our lesson, depending on the genre that you are working in, depending on the kind of game you are working, uh, the visualization and the design of the game will take a different approach, of course. Is uh, this uh, each of these uh, squares can be a label, can be a state, or can be um, uh, a screen, or even a page if you are talking about uh, a visual novel. In any case, uh, whatever you decide these squares are, it could be a good idea to use labels to uh, identify the stages, the labels, the states or the screens you are working with. It's going to help you in order to define later the assets, the music, the sound, anything you uh, fabricate for uh, your game. It is going also to help you to work uh, with uh, later with Unity or Fungus or any other game engine you are going to use. So what happens if at this point you are unsure still about the video game you want to create or about the fairy tale you want to adapt. You can use this optional text, it's from uh, the Red Little Riding Hood, the fairy tale we have been using on, on the classes. Important thing here is that any part of the text or the entire text that you uh, start to use, you need to uh, think first in terms of challenges, game goals, uh, character story, visual interface, all these elements we have defined uh, before in the previous lecture. This is a necessary step in order to create the labels, the states, the states, whatever you define in your structure. As always, I provide some uh, directed work in case you want to explore all the different exercises. Uh, this is, for example, the, the gamification of a classic story. But uh, I uh, propose in this exercise a twist by changing characters, scenarios, uh, the game genre. So uh, this exercise, while they can look redundant, they are actually very useful. You need to practice all these skills. You need to not get the first idea you have in mind try to get to explore all their ideas as well. This is a very uh, simple but still fun and uh, uh, intelligent way of creating interactive stories. So have a look at them and uh, let me know what you think about this. And that's all for today. Uh, I hope you find all these uh, materials useful and I'm really looking forward to see your diagram.